Hey, what up, YouTube? Hope all is well. Today, we're going to go over a DM from Instagram. And the guy asked me, Is it possible for both people to be the prize? If no, then why? Is it a fantasy? This question revolves around the context of relationships. Okay. And the short answer is no. There's always going to be someone who has a little more, uh, you could call it power. It's not the right word. They just, it's not equal. Okay. It's going to be weighing in the balance of someone more than the other. Men and women are different. Okay. In most relationships, the man is the prize. In 99% of relationships, the man is the prize. Okay. And it's like this for a couple of reasons. Reason number one. Hypergamy. It's in a woman's nature to try to pursue the man of most value that she has access to. Okay. What this means is that if a woman has the option dating, let's say, Option A and option B. Option A, right? Option A has, let's say, a 100K job. He makes six figures. Dresses well. Has a house, has a car. Pays his bills. Responsible, right? He's on top of it. He knows what he's doing. He knows where he's going. Option B is a guy who maybe makes 50K a year. Struggling to pay his bills because he has debt and perhaps mm, because of where he lives, let's say he lives in a city like New York, having a car for him is not necessary. He takes public transportation. A woman would go for option A, right? Now, there may not be anything wrong with option B, right? In, in, in a sense, right? Option B could maybe even look look better. Maybe have more muscles. But it really depends on where a woman is in her age and what she's looking for. But if both of these men want this, that woman, they're going to go for option A, right? It's just in her nature too. Doesn't mean she's always going to pick option A, right? You know, even though it's in a woman's nature to be, you know, a, a pergamy or a pergamous, hypergamy, however you want to call it, doesn't mean they're, they're going to listen to to their innate desire, right? Option B can still be picked. But what I want to point out to you is that it didn't matter what they're offering, right? It mattered on the fact that both of these men are a prize. And it's in a woman's nature to pursue a prize, right? Nobody wants to be with a bum. Right. From a woman's perspective, nobody wants to be with a bum who, who doesn't have a job, who maybe doesn't have a car, doesn't have money, is struggling, live with his parents, right? No woman wants that. But the same thing on the flip side for a man, no man wants a woman who's ugly. No man wants a woman who complains and nags all the time. No man wants a woman who doesn't bring value to his life, okay? And so, with this being said, there tends to be a natural dynamic of the man being the prize in the relationship. The woman wants to pursue the best that she can get. The fact that she is pursuing another man means that inherently he is the prize, right? It's that simple. A man who has his own everything. Right, his own everything. We're gonna phrase that. Basically means he has his own house, his own car, his own job, his own money. Right? The things in his life, he owns it. No one else. And because no one else owns it, he becomes a prize. It's his, it's attached to him. Now why why is why why does any of that matter? It matters because not only do you have it for yourself, but the woman who doesn't want, who doesn't have it and wants it, 
also wants what you have. So you become a prize, right? On the flip side, what is a prize for a man? At the very, the very least, a beautiful woman, a beautiful feminine woman, plain and simple. And here's the thing. A man who works on himself can acquire these things over time, right? Over time, he can work on these things, keep them, grow them, own them. They stay with him. Unfortunately, women, they age, right? Their beauty deteriorates. Their beauty which is one of their bigger assets, or biggest asset, goes away, right? That's what they talk about hitting the wall when women realize that they can't get any man that they, they want, when all the tension starts dying down, right? When they're like, shit, I, I gotta cash in, right? But as a man gets older, he continues to be the prize because as life goes on, women who, who who don't have the things that he has, they want them. They pursue him. They want what he got. In a relationship, the man is the prize. If and only if he works on himself, right? Not every man is a prize, okay? You have to turn yourself into a prize. How do you do that? Get your own income, right? Get your own house or an apartment. Get your own car. Work on yourself, work on your mental, work on your body, your physical, right? Get muscles, dress well, nice haircut, right? If you're into jewelry, do jewelry. You need to look cold, as Steph is cold likes to say. Point is, you gotta look good. Look good and own your own everything. And if you have that, then you become the prize. If you don't have that, you know, there's varying degrees, there's degrees of what a prize would be, but you know, maybe on the bottom, would be no job, living with your parents, mm, no car. You know, you don't have anything to offer. There is no prize because there's nothing to offer, okay? And on the flip side, maybe someone who's a millionaire, owns his own company, has several cars, maybe has his own plane, right? There's varying degrees. Now, that makes you a prize because women like that. Women want that. They're attracted to that. That turns them on, right? And so because of women's hypergamous nature, they're always seeking for the best male that you know they have access to. The best male normally has resources, right? So that's why 99% of the time, a male is a prize in the relationship. Now, if it's reversed, and if the woman's a prize, uh, and the man isn't, I mean, personally, unless there's a certain circumstance and why that relationship is that way, I don't see it lasting very long, right? Kind of seems like, uh, doesn't seem natural, but that's for another video. You also see this in like relationships with celebrities, right? You ever hear something like all oh, this like uh, what's recent, like the whole table talk over Will Smith. You know, you have men who have it all, the fame, the money, the cars, the houses, the social circles, they have it all. But then their wives are going around and cheating on them or fucking with other men or doing things that are inappropriate, right? That's his wife, okay? And the way Will Smith rationalized it all was basically for the sake of this family, I'm going to stick with you. That's about it. He would have kicked her to the curb. But point is, why did she do that? Why? In this case, it was a younger, younger man, almost half her age, right? I mean, they said it. They were having sex for several years. Maybe it was something that Will couldn't offer. Seemingly for a man who has it all, right? But you know damn well, Will Smith can kick it to the curb and there'll be plenty of women who are lining up to be with Will Smith. Why? Because he's a prize. Why? Because he has what they want. 
the money, the fame, social circle, cars, house, you name it. There's probably nothing that he can't have. And yet he's still getting fucked around with by his wife. So just remember the balance is always in someone's favor. And most of the time it's the man. If it's a woman, um, I'd really like to see it, point it out. We can analyze it, figure out why it's that way. But I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense. And I just want to point out is that as a man, you're, you're not, as a man, you know, innately you are the prize. But at the same time, you're competing with all the other men in the world, right? You have to up your game. Got to step up your game some way, somehow, right? No one's saying you got to be a billionaire. No one's saying you got to compete with the likes of Jeff Bezos, right? No one's saying you got to compete with Facebook, Apple, all these, all these companies. However, you do want to work on yourself. And if that's what you want, then that's what you'll work on. But do, don't don't be sitting on your ass, right? Don't be don't be you know working a nine to five, going home, drinking beers on the couch, and then go to sleep, right? You don't you. I mean, it's it's fine for you to do that. That's your life. But you wouldn't you shouldn't want to do that. You should want better for yourself, right? Okay. So if there's something you got to work on, let's say. You want more muscles, do some research, go to the gym, figure out what works for you, right? Buy some dumbbells, right? Because the corona, we can't really go to the gym right now. Purchase some dumbbells, purchase some equipment, start working out. Oh, you're overweight? Oh, you're too fat? Start a diet. Eat whole foods. Maybe try fasting. Oh, I don't know much about this certain topic. Well, sit down, take an hour and 15 minutes, research it, write, write notes, learn. Apply it, right? Oh, I don't have enough money. Find a way to make money. Create a side hustle, right? Oh, but I don't have enough friends. Well, then go out. Increase the social circle, right? Go to events where it's still open. Mingle with people, talk to people, right? There are things that you can do to improve yourself. And you gotta be doing that shit every day. You ain't no prize if you're not improving yourself. You ain't no prize if you don't got nothing to offer. All right, so the bottom line is that in relationships, men are the prize. Men are the prize because they have things that women want. In order to become the prize as a man, you have to work on yourself. If there's a relationship with a woman is the prize, I truly think that there's, there's something wrong there and I don't see it lasting. And if it does last, there's something going on that we probably don't know about. And remember, even when you are the prize, doesn't mean she ain't gonna fool around, all right? So show some love, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, check out the Patreon, all right? Oh, 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 oh,